Good morning, guys. <clears throat> the weekend started and my chai biscuit started as well. <laughs> I love chai biscuit in the morning. One of the best thing that you can have for before breakfast, perhaps. So, I'm having this hide and seek. Hide and seek and a regular chai. So, this whole week, I was wondering what is going to be my next topic. Then I remember an incident that happened with me in January. So basically what happened was, I had installed this lovely, you know, um, all extreme uh, 40 watt focus lights, uh, auxiliary lights, fog lights on my bike. Within two months, some idiot stole it. I parked my bike in front of my friend's house and stole it. And you know what, too? I keep wondering, he stole one. Now, what will he put in the bathroom? bathroom is a halogen light na ne kada mast wala light hai aur wa mere auxiliary light mein aa raha hai i just don't know what was the logic behind this he could have easily taken two maybe he was scared to get caught but nevertheless i think we do, we all bikers we face this problem whenever we have to go highways whenever we have to go on long rides we do need this fog lights but when you come back for the city rides we are scared because you know in a city the traffic is so much that you might even hit the hit them, you know, some idiot takes a left and your bike hits the rear view mirror of the car and you know, your ox lights can get damaged or you know, some someone might throw a stone, or some kid when you have parked your bike, some kid might be playing with it, pulling it and some idiot like the one who encountered my bike or my, my bike encountered it might steal one and go. So I found a very simple solution. What I have done is I have uh, connected the lamp and the holder on the on the bike and i have kept a male female connection plug in the uh, wiring so what i need to do is whenever i'm going highways i have to just put those fog lamps and whenever i come back from the highways all i need to do is remove them rem un un uh, plug the male female cords and keep the auxiliary lamps back safely inside the house so let's go let's go have a look how i have done this i'll also show you how i have done those small uh you no know, patchwork so that you can get this you can get a perspective and if you choose you can also do that Now I will quickly show you how to fix the auxiliary lights uh, with the wire and how this whole system works. I have already uh, shot the video for uh, how I have made the wiring in my bike. The wiring in the bike is something that I would recommend you not to do, but I would recommend someone um, who is a mechanic who understands the electrical systems of the bike uh, to do that. Uh, preferably your regular mechanic should be able to do it. or. Um, इससे ज़्यादा तो कुछ खास है नहीं मैं आपको क्विकली दिखा देता हूँ कि ये चीज़ है क्या ये रहे वो बंडल्स तो आपको ये मैंने आठ पेयर ऑर्डर किया था तो दो बेसिकली दो ए दो पेयर मेरे कार के लिए और दो पेयर मेरे बाइक के लिए इतना सारा बच गया ऐसा कुछ लगाने के बाद भी तो जैसे जैसे टाइम आएगा मैं वैसे वैसे इसको यूज़ करता जाऊँगा ख़राब हो गया रैट बाइट से अगर कुछ हो गया या करोड हो गया तो मैं उसको वैसे वैसे यूज़ करता जाऊँगा बहुत ही सिंपल सा लॉजिक है ये रहा एक मेल प्लग फीमेल प्लग और ये रहा एक मेल प्लग तो मैं आपको दिखा देता हूँ ये मेल और फीमेल कैसे दिखता है ऐसे दिखता है कुछ ठीक है ये मेल प्लग है और ये फीमेल प्लग है तो इन दोनों को इसको जब लगाएंगे तो इसके अंदर दो दो होल्स ऐसे हैं ये मेल है और ये फीमेल है आपको बस ढूंढ इसका एक यहाँ पे एक सजेशन है देखिए ये जो पार्ट है तो दिस सजेशन इज द पार्ट वेर यू हैव टू मैच विद द मेल पार्ट सो मेल पार्ट विल ऑल्सो हैव an additional point through which this will pass through yes i've got it now you have to slide it through like this so that the connection is done once the connection is done you have to secure the the part with this part so this is basically 
रीइनफोर्समेंट अभी वो खुल के गिर गया मेरे हाथ से सो यू जस्ट एन टाइटन सो इसे टाइट कर देंगे तो ये निकलने का चांस नहीं है तो अगर ऑफ जाते हैं हाईवेज पे जाते हैं जहाँ पे काफी वाइब्रेशन होते हैं तो योर बाइक ऑक्सले लाइट विल नॉट नेवर गो ऑफ बट इफ यू आर ट्राइंग द लोकल क्लिप वन द क्लिप माइट ब्रेक एंड यू माइट नॉट फाइंड योर सेल्फ इन अचुएशन वेर यू कैन रिपेयर इट ऑन द गो यू माइट हैव टू डू अड ऑफ डी आई वाई विच इज नॉट रिकमेंडेड वेन यू ऑन हाईवे सो दिस इज समथिंग मच मोर सिक्योर दिस आर द टू एंड ऑल यू हैव टू डू इज कनेक्टेड सो लेट मी जस्ट क्विकली टेक यू थ्रू एंड टेक यू show you how i have put my oxtray light so that you have an idea how i have done these all right so let me just take this off and here you go when you are not done all you have to do is just plug out and keep it aside so guys uh, one simple thing uh, when you are using this when you are doing this this part you can do at home this is very simple just take the live wire and the neutral wire and uh, you know uh, connect it with this cables and it's very simple i have soldered them together and after that i have used a black tape to reinforce the whole thing and um, also to make sure that the water doesn't seep in and you know corrodes the, the, the joints so that's the main thing but what i would strongly recommend is when you are doing the wiring for your bike please take uh, professional help uh, the wiring is pretty delicate it could be if you are not well versed with the electronic system of your bike please do not try to fiddle with it um, something not this is not recommended ek fuse ud jayega fir pura din baithe rahoge gaadi ko tow karke leke jana padega ya mechanic ko ghar pe bulana padega extra kharcha hai so strongly recommended do not do that go to a mechanic preferably your regular mechanic who aapko help kar dega आप उसको लेके जाइए वो आपको वायरिंग कर देगा वायरिंग मैं थोड़ी देर में दिखाता हूँ मैं आपको नीचे जब अपने बाइक के पास जाऊँगा बहुत ही सिंपल सा काम है एक स्विच चाहिए होगा आपको वो स्विच से आपको आपका ऑन ऑफ बटन करना पड़ेगा विच विल बी कनेक्टेड टू योर इग्निशन स्विच and uh, i'll also show how to fix this now if you have seen already this has a bolt so this goes on to the holder and you have to tighten it when you are running and then this is allen key se ye wala part ko aapko ye jo movement hai upar niche wala adjust karne ke liye aapko allen key se tight kar dena padega and then you fix this uh, female plug and you sorted right pe jao bindas um, wapas aao nikalo ghar pe rakh do bas that's the best thing that you can do so let's go down and see how this thing works okay chalo Okay guys um now I'm going to show you the how the male plug has been fitted onto my bike uh pardon uh, the condition of my uh bike it's been very very dirty uh it has been raining for the last one week in Bangalore and the roads are in a pathetic condition so please pardon that okay so let me show you how I have done so here I have kept the male plug left on my bike the wiring is done all the way through here all the way through here and it has gone all the way to the plug So here is the switch that I have invested on. This is the switch. Now this is a this is a rubber proof switch. Unlike the red one that you get on Amazon, uh, that cause a lot of trouble in a place like uh, Mumbai, Chennai, Bangalore, where uh, rains are in unpredictable and pretty uh, continuous. So this is something that I have invested on. Uh, it comes with an aluminium mount, very 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 strong, and uh, it does a really good job because there's no water that there's no way the water can seep in. It's completely sealed from every side, and it also has a rubber. concealer on top of it so this is something that i generally use uh, i'll share the link for this as well so in case you want to install it in your bike so the connection comes from all the way from here i have put this is the wiring that comes here goes till here and it comes all the way here and it is kept over here this is the male plug and this is the this is the stand that i was talking about this is the one which i used to mount my Uh, oxley lamp so what i'll do is i will uh, place my camera in such a way so that i can show you how i do it so i will also share the link of this comes with a rubber mount and this can be left on the uh, crash bar so i think that should give you a perspective on how we can use this how i want to put it so what i would do is i would take this uh, fog light only when i'm traveling only when i'm going highways and uh, whatever it is i will put this over here tighten up the bolt and make sure that this holds over here and all i have to do is Take this plug and plug it to the female. So, when you plug the male into the female, this is how it looks. Hey, you have to just untighten it, and uh, it fits like this. Yeah. So this is how this whole setup looks like. So when you're not riding, when you're not going for either in the city. All you have to do is just unplug this, remove this, take it out, and uh, remove and screw this this whole setting, and let the um, stand be here. And just take your fog lights out and keep it in the 
box safely pack it nicely and you can keep it in your home so that's about it this is how the uh, the whole setting has been done uh, it's a diy uh, i'm sure you guys will like it hopefully and this is what we do this is uh, what we generally would do in case we're not using the bike the fog lights on every day basis and to prevent theft of course yeah so i hope you like the video and please hit the subscribe button and don't forget to press the bell icon i'll be posting videos on life hacks bike hacks and diy uh, every saturday and sunday yeah so all the guys all the best guys uh, see you soon next week